letters have written with it, all our dreams must be small. Raven. We're going to go stab her in the face. Okay, let's let's see. Hey, my guy, my like Rampagor. I'm like whenever I see it out of the corner of my eye, I always think like Rampager, but it's Rampagor. Anyway, he said something when you came out here. I don't get the leaping thing, like, leap towards your enemy. Looks like I just sort of walk up and stab him in the face. Mm, treasure chest. Rock to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. That, that seems a little ridiculous. <laughs> it makes a noise when I do it too, so that it's annoying. Oh wow, that looks horrible. Jesus. I, I just like it does this awkward, really awkward animation. It looks like really bad. And I just like float over to him. And it makes that annoying ass sound every time. Oh, and it sucks my mana away. Okay. Yeah, let's not do that. Only when something is really far away and I need to close the distance. So like those skill like a skeleton archer because I do extra damage. I wouldn't mind using it on. Come on, stab him. Stab him. Alright. Like going inside of caves also improves the frame rate, like being outside where it's supposed to rain and whatnot. Like even on low for some reason it uh craps on the frame rate a little bit. Like, the mini-map, in the normal version, like, this mod runs better than the normal version of the game. Like, except for now that I have the normal version. Oh yeah, did I even tell you guys? When, you can't, like, on this one, you can't record with direct, direct 2D. So, like, I was like, well, if direct 2D makes it go faster, then... I'll record while playing with direct 2d but when it for some reason doesn't show like the counter or anything and you can't record when you're using the 2d thing so that's sort of a little kick in the nuts because I bet I could get a faster frame rate and it would look a lot smoother for you guys when shit gets real so my thing my ram rampagor just says like random shit whenever I walk to places. Those trents freaked me out when I first saw them because Yeah. God I do so little damage to these hoes. Can I upgrade my Rampagor yet? No. Corpse Tone. I think... 
I'm going to save these for later because I want to be able to upgrade my Rampagor to where he's like insanely buff so he can just take on everything so that would be really useful I should use that spell a bit more. It does a lot for me. Alright. That's a sorceress only item. I don't know why I picked that up. Die! God, my guy, like, those, either my guy sucks dick, like, at killing those things, or, like, or they're just, like, they have a lot of health. Get back here, you ho. These things are just dragging me into more enemies and it's annoying. Ow, it's a good thing I started walking away from that. This is probably not good. These spiders need to go suck a dom. Right. Come back here, you piece of shit. There we go, ding again. Like, you do level up pretty fast though. So it starts out pretty hard, but then like, it evens itself out through just like, you leveling so your skills get like, a lot better. Yellow quilted armor. Studded leather. Alright, let's see. So can I upgrade that? Does doing this give me another ghost? Yes, it does. Three ghosts. Dexterity gives me more damage with daggers. Alright. Wait. You. Even though the ghosts don't do much, they do, like, attract attention. So, like, the more of them I have, the better, because that means less of the mobs will be focusing on me. One thing that's going to become an annoyance, though, like, later on, there's a lot of invisible enemies that you just, like, you can't see them. Obviously, since they're invisible. But, uh... Like, with the Paladin, it was really cool and fun and easy because it's just like, Oh, what's that? You're invisible. Well, I have a spell that shoots out lightning that hits whatever is around me. So it doesn't even matter, but... With uh, this guy... Not having, like, any actual spells... That's... 
like more of an annoyance. It's no longer just like easy experience like it was with the Paladin. It's now like a problem. So this is where I need to go, but I don't want to go there yet, because there should be the cave somewhere out here, and like, it's not really a necessary place, but it's good experience, and that's what you need, like, it's more, it's, it's less about player skill, like, there is player skill involved, but it's more about like your character skills, especially with a uh, median mod. Because like, you can be the newbiest person on earth at Diablo 2, but if you pick a paladin and play this mod, you, sh you should be set as long as you like, strongly, like as long as you just sit there and constantly upgrade that, uh, that lightning spell, which I can I can never think of the name of it, but it's really good and it makes it to where you hardly have to do any work. These guys are all buffed up for some reason. Great, my dagger is damaged. Okay, well there's a scythe, so that makes everything a lot easy for me, a lot easier for me. Mega impact, don't know what that means. But, uh, now I can switch to this, and I should now actually put that skill into this. Because this scythe will help me massively when it comes to me personally dealing out damage. Yeah, now these bitches don't stand a chance. I just rape their face. And the best thing is like I auto attack like whatever's around me. Like so if there's multiple it like splits the hits in between them. Might be a little annoying like on a boss which is like they're usually surrounded by minions might be a little annoying when you're trying to focus the boss because it does the most damage but something not that bad anyway loose boulder God, that Rampagore kills everything so fast. There's another Dean. Alright, let's see. Can I upgrade him yet? God damn it. Guess I'll upgrade this more. So current level the next level gives me a 200% attack bonus cost still cost 5 yeah, okay 80% damage vitality to me is the most important thing because it allows you to run longer and it gives you health so at first I didn't know that it helped you run longer because I'm used to like normal RPG thinking where vitality is just help and like dexterity or endurance is like how much stamina you have but my buddy proved me wrong on that one but yeah.
That song, man, stuck in my head. Walking around, really boring. Trying to find the cave. It's not really showing up. I think this leads to a new area. Yeah. Well, Stony Field, why not? Let's see if this was a bad decision or not. So far, it's an alright decision. I'll laugh if I screwed up and the cave's actually here, not in the other place. Oh, balls, my weapon's almost broke. This is probably not smart. Okay, those Harlequins. Oh, wow. Uh, run. Run. Ah! My guy couldn't run because he was surrounded. That's all good. I need to sell some shit. Sell some shit, pick up money. Good day. Good day. I think I can sell. Let's see. I need to sell enough to be able to buy one of those. Screw it, I'll just sell this. Okay. Where the hell did that go to? Oh, the book! Oh man, I forgot I have the book. I didn't even need to sell this. Just selling shit. Boring stuff. My stomach just growled. Plus one to all attributes, I'll wear that for now. That's useful. It's not. Alright, now as long as I don't mm, derp and like forget to resummon my shit, I should not die again. I should be fine. Alright, so let's go back and get my vengeance in fact let's pick up the skill shrine I'm not gonna be able to do as much damage so this probably isn't the best of ideas I mean, look at that. Best I can do is fight the easy ones. And like, try and keep my guys buffed. Where the hell is my hand? Sorry, I got like, in the confusion I actually lost my mouse.
Now, all three of my life regen things are dead. Gotta summon them back. Uh, come on, man. Those quill, quill bears didn't run all over the place. They would just stay. Okay, yeah, I should teleport back. Because my weapon is broke. Alright, I think I will be ready. I'm not positive if I'm ready to face Blood Raven. But we will either end uh, this play session with uh either me dying to blood raven or me killing her so let's go get this shit Hi repaired there. good day i haven't talked to her yet that's weird all right my shit is now repaired don't care about that stuff. Hey, look, it's my Necroblade thing. Hexblade. Alright. Time to go and take on Blood Raven and most likely die. Because that's. That's probably going to be a theme. Dying a lot. We'll find out though. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to take her down. Ooh, a yellow hex blade. Maybe the if I kill her the video will end with me identifying that what the hell? Tally only. Alright. Here we are in the burial grounds, which has gotten the green tint. Which, I don't remember it having a green tint before. Alright, come on. And die, you hoes. to like oh god the frames the frames walk through the stuff my enemy will destroy you Okay, well, it ended with her getting absolutely raped. Ooh, a buckler. Yellow buckler. Alright. So now... Blood Raven. Rest well. Why did you laugh before you said that? Anyway. So, let's... Identify. Well, let's get our hoe first. This chick gives you a hoe. I can hardly believe that hoe might be useful. That's who I was thinking of saving the uh, that bow for when I said that I think I should save this, and I was like, uh, fuck it. All right, gonna talk to this chick. Blah blah blah. Trade. Uh, now I have to go get Deckard Kane who is from the first game fire damage poison resistance life stolen per hit okay it's 
better than that. 46 defense. Still has 19. Not worth it. Okay. I want to keep that dagger. Oh, cool. This axe is a dagger. Okay, I didn't... I didn't read that it was a dagger class. Anyway, uh, next time we will go and find Kane and hopefully not die because they added in these things that are extremely annoying in there. But yeah, I'll see you guys later.